So I suspect there are two factors that are contributing to the slower growth of companies that are requiring five days a week in office. Uh, the one, the obvious one, is people do want flexibility. People, after three years of work from home, uh, it has become a norm. People have, re have reevaluated their life and their priorities, and we are seeing in all of our surveys and in our anecdotal conversations that people are, are walking with their feet. They are deciding uh, that they want flexibility. Some want to be home full time. Others want a degree of compromise. And so it's, there is natural extension that companies that are requiring people to come in five days a week are having a tougher time attracting talent, even though many of them are world-class brands, world-class organizations. So they'll get there, but slower. Um, it's also the companies that were the first to mandate five days a week back were larger financial services institutions. And that sector has been hit uh, with you know, less deal flow, uh, money's become more expensive to borrow. And so the IPO market's been quieter. The M&A market has been quieter. Lending is down. And so they're looking for less talent. Uh, many of them went into hiring freezes earlier and they've been opportunistic, but we also do expect that competitors that are offering flexibility are gonna, are gonna win short and long-term in the war for talent.